speak till I was five and then I haven't shut up since. And uh, I'm also a fraud, isn't that I'm not actually a teacher. Unlike all of you, I don't actually know anything about teaching. Um, I'm a software developer who decided when there was uh, not this current recession, the one before that, but the one before that, that only affected computer programmers, that lecturing would be a, a better sort of gig. And I did that for 14 years until uh, six weeks ago when Microsoft asked me to join them as an academic developer evangelist. So, what I'm showing you here tonight is something that I wrote for those kids. And um, Jack got a Microsoft Connect for Xbox uh, of Santa Claus. Wait till I move that onto your screen. Can you see it there? Okay. So he gets this Microsoft Connect. Here it is. And you know what he he did? He had one game for it. Santa only brought him one game. That might be because there was only one game available at launch. And he played that game. And he played that game. And he played that game. And what did it do? Well, this is a revolutionary controller, because rather than use an Xbox controller or a games controller that you might have seen on TV if you're not a gamer where you press funny buttons, this is a special camera that can see your body in 3D. So unlike a camera which just takes a photograph, this knows how far away you are. So it knows that this lady is closer to that young man than to that lady, and it goes all the way back. So what? Well, we have fancy algorithms, which is just a big way of saying fancy programs, which can analyze the shape of you in 3D and figure out if you're human shaped. So you young man, you look human shaped, it'll look at you and say, there's your head, there's your shoulders, there's your elbows. So Jack, being all of seven, you saw Jack there, he's now 10, Jack said, Daddy, I want to make my own games. And unfortunately, that's a big ask for Daddy, who teaches undergraduates computer programming, but I never taught a seven-year-old. Well, Coder Dojo and things like that were starting, so I got involved and I wrote this, this is the program that you see up there, and what that allows you to do is program for the Microsoft Connect in Scratch. Now, some of you already know Scratch, but if you don't, this is Scratch. Okay. So here is Scratch. If you haven't seen it, this is the world's quickest Scratch, because I must be four minutes in by now. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> Scratch. There's Take a cat. Time. That's not a cat. What's that? Scratch. That's Scratch. It's Sprite, yes, because if it was a cat, you'd need a vet. And what we're going to do is we're going to write a program, and it's the world's quickest program written by a man who can't see what he's doing. So, this is going to look like Lego bricks. If you don't know what Lego is, seriously, go talk to your parents. Say, what were you thinking? Okay, motion. We grab this guy, we click him in there. So, you can read this like English. When the green flag is clicked, forever, move 10 steps. Ah, what happens if he hits the wall? Well, that would be sore. So, we grab a if hitting the edge, bounce off. I'm just going to click this button here, because I'm under a time limit, I don't want to explain why. I click the green flag, and we've written a program that didn't type anything. That cat's walking backwards and forwards, bouncing off the thing, coming back. That's Scratch. By the way, you can do several month courses on Scratch. That's not really you know, a course in it, but just to give you an idea <laughs> that programming doesn't have to be about typing weird things. So Scratch is developed in MIT. And I know I'm going fast, but that's because these guys threatened to throw stuff at me that didn't. Now, coming back here to our Scratch, I want you to look at Connect to Scratch, and can you see me there? See the way I turned red? That means I recognize that I'm human shaped. You know, it's been a, uh, a while since I went on a diet, I know, but at least I'm still human shaped. So, we go over, over here, and we can say to Scratch, stop doing that Scratch. Really, stop, I can't actually see my mouse. Tell me if you see my mouse. Here's a program which shows them all being tracked. You can see me there. I'm actually going to angle the connect more my way so it's not picking up everyone else here. Oh, sorry, too far that way. Ah, there we go. I'm going to come in from the side. There we go. So uh, it's tracking those 24 points in the body. All those red dots are me, if you're wondering. If I turn around, you can see me like that. 
So if you were a kid, what could you do with that? Well, you can write programs. Such as, and I know most of you are too young to remember this, but 1974, a game came out called Pong. Anyone know Pong? Yeah. You see, you should have said, no, we're too young. <laughs> so, which one says tennis? I'm telling you, this is the hardest presentation ever to do, because I can't actually see the screen. No. Oh, yeah. So, because <laughs> you read about it in a book, right? Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> yeah, you saw your granddad today. So, you can see that this ball gets faster every time. This entire program is less than 30 lines of scratch, and it's a recreation of fun. Controlled by moving my hands up and down, my left and right hands up and down. I also have space invaders where you throw your hands in the air. We've loads of samples. We've one where you can make music by waving your hands. You have two minutes. Oh, that's not so bad. I thought I had to finish. We have a sharp one where you open and close your hands, make the shark's mouth open and close. And all of this stuff is very easy to do. This is easy enough for an eight-year-old to do, so you guys will figure it out. Now, however, we're trying to develop uh, book resources and a primary school, now, primary school uh, module for schools that are already teaching Scratch and like to do something advanced. So some of you here have taught Scratch, I know you have. Some of you haven't taught it but would like to. This is an opportunity to do natural user interface without having to buy expensive equipment or learn to do very advanced programming. You can do this in Scratch. Okay? You can you could write a project, I'm going to make this up. Science project. Can I control Pong using my left hands up and down left and right? <coughs> do I get a better or worse score if my opposite hand controls the opposite thing going up and down? Do I get a worse score if someone spins me around ten times before I play? <laughs> Do I get a worse score if I have to play one hand behind my back? These are little science projects that kids could do. Um, you could, how long can I keep my two hands inside a certain coloured area? Everyone holds their hands up, whoever keeps them up the longest. Timer counts down. You're talking programs that are less than 50 lines, well less than 50 lines, and very doable, something you could create and have your students doing. And also it's straightforward, okay? So, Connect to Scratch is completely uh, free. I'm gonna put up some links. The software, I have about one minute left. Yes. Four seconds. There we go. There's the, there's the links. So to get this, you need Scratch, the Scratch SDK. You connect to Scratch. It's completely free. Come and ask me about it later on. And uh, thank you very much for listening.